Hi, I'm Colin from Radon West. I'm a CNRPP certified radon measurement professional, and I want to show you how to properly deploy your Evict Radon test kit. So we've got our Evict Radon test kit in the mail. Let's take a look inside and see what's in it, what to do next. We open it up, we're gonna find a couple items in here. One, our detector. Good, we're gonna need that. Two, test kit instructions. And three, prepaid shipping to the lab. Now the first thing you want to do is actually take this prepaid shipping and affix it over top of the shipping label that got it to you. This way you won't lose it and you'll remember to keep this box to send your device back to the lab for processing. So let's right away place it over top. This is good to go. Now we're going to want to keep this box to ship it back in, so let's remember that. Let's take a look at the instructions. First step is to register your device. Now there's a couple easy ways to do this. One of them is to scan the QR code that's on the device packaging, the mobile device or smartphone, and it'll log you right into the website that allows you to register this device. Alternatively, you can visit the website on your desktop, and the address is right here in the instructions. Now registering is very important because it tells the laboratory when you started your device, when you ended your device test, and who you are and where to send the results. It's very important. Okay, the next step is to place your device. And placing your device is really simple. Now, when the device is shipped to you, it's in a special mylar plastic. This has a very low radon diffusion coefficient. It doesn't let radon get out of the device. And so this test will start when I open the package. Let's open it. Okay, now I think we should keep this packaging in the box. We're gonna need it later to get back to register your device again that you've ended the test. So your device number, your commission number and password, sorry, are gonna be important. Let's put them in there. Let's put this box aside to ship the device back. Now there's the device, very simple device. Radon enters through the tiny parting lines of the device and, uh, and uh, registers on a little chip inside there. Uh, very, sim very simply passive type of dosimeter. Now where to place it? The guidelines say to place it in the lowest level of your home that you spend four or more hours a day in. We don't overthink this. If you don't spend a lot of time in your basement, then don't test the basement. Place it on the main floor. No problem, but the idea is we want to test the air that we're breathing. So let's put it in an area of the home where we're breathing. This table would be great. I spend a lot of time on the main floor and uh, it's not on the floor. It's not near an open window or an exterior door. This would be a great place to place your test. Now we wait, and we're gonna wait for 91 days. We could wait a little longer, no problem, but 91 days or longer in the heating season is the official guidance. So let's wait for 91 days. Okay, so we've waited 91 days or longer, and our device has been kept in the same position. Perfect, okay, great. Now it's time to ship it back. So let's retrieve our box that we've kept somewhere handy and to remind ourselves of our commission number and password. Again, we could use the QR code to log us into the website to end this test, or we can use the web URL that's inside this test kit instructions. And we log back in and we tell the lab, hey, here's when we ended our test. That's very important information to know. The test kit itself is very durable. We can just throw it back into the box and uh, does not require any additional packaging or anything like that. That would be fine. Close our box up. Take it securely and we place it in the mail. Remember, we already affixed our return shipping to the lab. Throw it in the mail and wait. It will take up to six weeks to get your results back from the lab and they will email them to you.